I am Verna Smith and welcome to this edition of Issues in Focus. It's Wednesday, the June 29th, and uh, surprisingly, we are not talking post-primary elections. The primary season is over, and whether or not we want to accept it or not, we are full blast as we think the November elections with the potential nominees, Clinton versus Trump. Yes, let that soak in. It's going to be, unless something dramatic, really dramatic happens, yes, it's going to be Clinton versus Trump. I can see the mud, I can feel the mud, I can visualize so many things I don't want. So we are going to just stick to what is, what the possibilities are for you, the voter, as we think November. What are your issues? Because there are so many things to distract us on what really matters. My concern, the issues, how they affect me, how they affect the community. And as a journalist, as someone with, you know, who did much study in politics and believe in the media talking about what matters, my focus still remains the economy and, yes, number two, terrorism. I never thought terrorism could become second or third on my list of what we need to address. But given what happened in Brussels months ago, given what happened in Turkey yesterday, people arriving in Istanbul and were blown apart, 50 people died. They are saying all of this was through ISIS terrorism. It's here to do so much to us, wherever we are on the planet, that we need to be concerned about it. But again, I'm talking the economy. For me, it's about more jobs, because I know a lot of people, those with entry-level backgrounds, those who are mid-professionals, those who are mid-professionals, who have lost their place in this economy since 9-11 and have not regained that sense of financial viability. In America or in any free market society, without money in your pocket as a worker, you have nothing. That Those are the facts. I don't want to play around it with dramas and other issues that are nice to have, you know, things to do, issues, but without money in our pockets as individuals, as a nation, as a community, there's nothing to talk about. We can't educate our children. We can't buy homes. We can't plan for retirements. We can't contribute to our major charities because without that money working, without people are actively working for someone or creating their own businesses, we are stuck. So again, yesterday, the elections, the primaries are over. Bernie Sanders is literally out of the race because he didn't have the numbers as we think delegates. I was glad that he was in the race because he allowed some issues that would have been swept under the rug to uh, to come to the surface and for people to talk about it. In America, if you're earning less than $15 an hour, you are at the bottom of the ladder. Who works in the store and then goes home to have to have the government pay for your health care and the other issues you need? That is not a job. That's a part-time you know, job to do what I don't know if you have no benefits. But that's where many Americans are. That's where many workers are. And it's a sad place to be as we think the richest country in the world. That said, what are your issues? Uh, you know, what do you would hope to hear from a President Clinton? What would you hear, look to hear from a President Trump? Whether we like it or not, those are the options. I hardly want to think of it, but those are the options. How do we rationally make a choice? When, as I said, both candidates are imperfect. Both candidates are way out from where most of us are. Most candidates can't rely or relate, but that's what we have, and we should vote and are, expect and are expected to vote. So join the conversation. On this Wednesday morning, there's not much I can say than, you know, we still are in a democratic uh, society. We still have the right to vote. We still have the right to say what's on our minds, and I would love to hear your thoughts. On Facebook, at Verna Politics. On Twitter, at Verna Politics. Join the conversation. Let's keep apathy 
where it should be, somewhere else. Let's find a way to remain engaged, to talk the issues. Would you have liked to see a Bernie as president? Are you shocked that Elizabeth Warren, who never endorsed, finally is out on the stump with Hillary Clinton? What are your thoughts on the Democrats? Are they hearing the people? What are your thoughts on the Republicans? Have they lost most of us because of all the shenanigans that's going on over that party? Is it time for a third party? I don't know. I have so many questions. Feel such a sense of stagnation politically. But again, join the conversation. On Facebook, at Verna Politics. On Twitter, at Verna Politics. Thank you and have a great, great day. I am Verna Smith and welcome to this edition of Issues in Focus. Today it's Wednesday and surprisingly we are not talking post-election primary events. It 